Hey boys and girls, Brucey here, going to do a little review of a pedal I've had for a very, very long time, since about 1988, and it's the Boss TWR, TW1. Um, not the greatest pedal in the world, I don't think, uh, but it has its uses. Obviously, it's supposed to be um, a take on an auto wah. Um, very simple control, sensitivity peak, uh, which is like a Q, and whether you go up or down and when you're driving it, so you get a kind of lower tone or a higher tone. So let's switch it on. Let's turn the tuner off. That's my clean tone. sounding pedal. But it's quite vocal in its quality, I quite like the vocalness, it, the way it's... So we're getting a kind of wider cue and a more sensitive peak. Like so I find it quite a weak sounding pedal. I, I'd certainly used it in the past, but where it really comes to life, you start adding in a bit of distortion. I've been adding uh, this uh, right here. Let's see what we can do with it. So it hasn't got as much range as something like the Q-Tron or some of the other auto wave feats. It's quite weak, it's quite noisy as you might be able to hear. But it certainly has a, new, a unique character and it's quite vocal and I quite like using it. vocal quality to it I quite like and if you add in now like a pog for example get some unique sound effects and that's what we're all after really getting a bit of sound design going on the boss to your t uh, in a nutshell very quick demonstration not a, really the greatest pedal in the world very hard to come by um, although th this is an original Japanese one so they do have um, quite a value on the the eBay market um, definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something which is is definitely unique in character maybe not the most funky auto wah in, in the planet but certainly has its place and uh, yeah when you add it with other pedals I think it sounds pretty awesome <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 